Hey you guys, so um, I made a little EV3 robot to uh, to guard food, so that if the dogs or the cat gets near it, the dogs or the cats, um, it tries to uh, scare them away. So I'll show you the robot first, and then uh, I'll show you the uh, software. And for the test, we're going to pretend that this little pink thing here is a little piece of food. So if I reach out to grab the food, the robot, <laughs> the robot, um, so it's always, right now, it's sitting there monitoring the ultrasonic sensor, which is this, is um, waiting until it sees something within 11 inches of it. So I'll show you about how far that is. On it. So and again, right now it's it's just looping, it's just monitoring, it's waiting to see if something gets within 11 inches of it. And after it does, we do a little dog growl. Uh, the Both motors, well, I'll show you the software here in just a second. So, um, okay, I gotta, I gotta stop this thing. Okay, so, um, the ultrasonic sensor is watching and then we just have two uh, motors uh, to move it back and forth and then we have a medium motor which just turns this thing up and down um, and it makes a noise and it scares the dogs and cats and it's been kind of funny so um, here's the software the first thing it does um, most all of my programs do is wait for a second because when I press the start button on the EV3, um, I don't want the program to run away right whenever the robot's still moving. Because a lot of times the first thing I do is um, initialize the gyroscope. So um, as you can see, we come down. Oops. As you cannot see, there you can see again. We'll come down in, and then we just go into this little loop and just sits there and waits for the ultrasonic sensor to see anything that's less than 11 inches. And once it detects something, we do the dog growl, and then it jettisons forward both motors uh, at 50 power for 0.1 rotations, and then it comes right back, negative 50. So it comes right back, uh, the same amount, uh, 0.1 rotations, and then it uh, does a growl, or no, a whine, and then it jiggles uh, to the right, so 0 0.22 to the right, or sorry, 22 to the right motor and negative 22 to the left. Uh, or I'm sorry, left, 22 to the left, negative 22 to the right. Uh, at um, for 0 0.05 rotation, um, stops on the at, when it's done. The motor stops with the brake, and then negative 22 and positive 22. To uh, for 0 0.05 rotations to bring it right back to where it is and then it does the little tap tap and then it just does the wiggle uh, left and right again and then another tap tap and then it waits for one second and then it just goes back and it rearms itself while the ultrasonic sensor is sitting there looking for um, for something to happen again so I just wanted to show that to you it's kind of it's kind of silly let me arm it again so that's blinking so we can tell that it's running and then now, oh, my helper Elsa set off the computer program. She's working on, she's, um, what are you making, Elsa? I'm making a dog coat. You got coat. to speak up. I'm making a dog coat. A dog coat. Using some sheets and some fabric. So she's making clothes for the dog. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to grab this piece of food here. Oh, I guess I'm not. And I'll show... I'll show you uh, some videos uh, <laughs> of the dog and the cat. <laughs> of the dog getting scared and the cat not really caring less about this um, contraption. Thanks. Okay, so I forgot to show you what the little uh, tap, tap, tap um, block looks like because this is actually a my block. And what it is is it makes this thing go like that. So what's, um, yours is right here, Elsa. 
So if we double click on the my block, it'll open it to what the full, there it is. And so we can see what it does. And it's also just a loop. And the first thing, the medium motor is on the C and it uses a, a power of 11 and it just turns it on. So that you can see here, it rotates it up, so it lifts it up for 0 0.09 seconds. And then it slaps it back down again with the same power, negative 11. And it does that for the same amount of time. And it just repeats this, this loop um, for five seconds. Or for, I'm sorry, for five, repeats the loop five times. And then as you can see right here, um, it stops the motor by applying zero to that medium motor. Same port number C. Yes, Elsa. Why is my burrito cut in half? Why is her burrito cut in half? I didn't touch it. Because this robot went over there and cut it in half. Mm -hmm. Set up the robot. Odie, Odie, you want a treat? Oh, he's Daddy, you're gonna make a treat, buddy? Yeah. Do you want a treat? Oh, hey, sit. Go ahead, get it. Go, go. Get the treat. Dash, go, get it. Oh, come here. Dash, go. Come here. Might be because of her fur or something. That's all. She's leaving. All right, we'll have to. <laughs> okay, and we're live. Let's see what the penny does. Oh, you guys have to get out of the shot. We've got two cameras looking each way. Oh. Might be because of her fur or something, that's all. She's leaving. Alright, we'll have to... 